Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. I've got quite a bit I want to try and get into, into this Sunday's video, so I'll probably make it a two part one again. The reason I do it in two parts is it's very simple. My internet connection is very slow and it takes ages and ages to load up a video, especially in fairly high definition. Right, anyway, in tonight's nightcap, um, I've had a parcel from America from a viewer, we'll open that, see what's in there. I'd like to try and show some more of the toolbox I got given last week, we'll show some more hand tools that's in there. I made some uh, adapters up for an airline, so I can put an airline in the top of my garden. Uh, a bit of machine work and some silver soldering, I'll try and show that. Yesterday I went to uh, a model engineering exhibition in Harrogate with three friends. I've got some decent video of that, I'll show that. Uh, there was some good trade stands there. I bought one or two items, I'll show them. This is the parcel that arrived early last week. It's from Charlie Moore, uh, Arthur Miller Road, Gainesville, America. Um, it's always nice to receive parcels like this, especially from abroad. You never know what's going to be in them. And you know, we'll open it up and see what, see what Charlie sent us. Note in here, read that first. I don't like handwritten notes. Hello, John. Thanks for all the great videos. I hope you're going to make use of this dial indicator. I look forward to more great videos. Regards, Charlie Moore. So, we've got a dial indicator. Sticky off the box. It's a really heavy item that. Federal USA. This is a nice indicator. It only does 15 thou each way, but it has got half thou's on. I haven't got an indicator of half thou's on. It's a real, it's a real heavy solidly made gauge. Like I said, it's got that's 10 thou up to there. So it's it's calibrated in half thou's. That section, I'll certainly be able to use that. If you remember in the last video, I showed you the big coil of hydraulic line I bought at the, the steam rally. Well, I want to make a long air line to go from my garage up to the top of my garden. They're the fittings I use, standard PCL type air line fittings, which are quarter BSP. This is 6mm bore pipe, a quarter inch pipe. Um, I've got no adapters to go from that pipe to there, so what I have got I've got a box full of these right angle adapters which have got the right size tails on to fit the pipe and put a high pressure clip on there and I've also got a load of brass fittings like that which are quarter BSP that'll screw into there so what I propose to do I'll chop the fitting off there turn it down in the lathe chop that bit off bore it out and I'll silver sew them together and that should give us two fittings to do the job you may think it's a waste to cut these fittings up, but I've got a big box full of them, I've got them given. Right, I've got the fitting that we chopped off. All I want to do is turn the hex off, turn that down around.
fish in the end. Just clean the end up with a centre drill. All these fittings are made of steel and they've all got a, a coating on to stop them corroding. You need to take the coating off to be able to silver swallow them. So we'll just take the coating off that. Off that register there. Right, this is the this is the brass fit we're going to be using. Just grip it on the on the hex, sort of feel it and get it centralised. That's unreasonably true. So what we'll do, we'll machine machine this part off, and then drill it a suitable size to accept the tail we've just made. Drill the right size. Be careful to them brass because it tends to be very, it tends to grab. So that fitting goes in there. You don't want too tight a to fit, you want a, a little gap for the silver solar to run into. So we'll solar that into there, and that's what we fit fitting completed. Right, we're ready to silver solar or hard solar our two connectors together. That's the silver solar. It comes in various grades, different melting points. I'm not sure what this is. It's some silver solar I got given, uh, but it will melt before the brass. And that's the flux you use for it. Like a borax based flux. I've got a, a plumber's soldering torch here. I'll be able to get enough heat up with that for this small job. And I have got two fire bricks just to reflect the heat and store the heat. If you're doing a big joint like on copper, copper tube on a boiler, you'd mix the solder up into a paste and brush it on. But for what I'm going to do, I'll just warm the rod up, dip it into the flux, run a little bit of flux around the job and solder them. The idea is to use the heat in the job to melt the solder, not the heat from the torch. The, one of the most important things about silver soldering is cleanliness. Things must be clean. Obviously I've just machined these so they are clean. Right, we'll light the torch, warm them up and I'll, get, I'll solder one. And then I'll get a close-up shot and so I'll that one.
clear the heat on the on the biggest part of the when you're trying to sold that first. So the flux sticks to the, the flux sticks to the solder. Put a little bit on there and it'll, it'll melt and it'll melt and run around as it, as it warms up. is melting there now. So the flux running round. Flux runs into the joint and pull the solar in. Just about there. The solar's run all the way around. Like a typical reaction that uh, that's all you need. I'll turn it round. Now the soil has run all the way around followed the following the heat. Right, we'll do the other one. Start to melt in a minute and go around the around the joints. It was liquid. And it's starting to melt there. Go all the way around. We're getting near temperature now. It takes the whole job up to temperature. It's just starting to glow very, very dull red. So I'm out in there and it's run all the way around the job by itself by capillary reaction. That'll be a nice to soil that joint. Right, the parts have cooled off. You could quench them in water, they are cool naturally. We need to clean the flux off, sand the flux off. I just use a wire wheel for that. One or two people have commented that I haven't got a guard on my wire wheel. You don't put a guard on wire wheels. If you put a guard on and something gets trapped in the wheel, it'll get jammed between the guard and the wheel because the, the wheel the wheel will crush. So a wire wheel is left open like that. You make sure your sleeves are rolled up, no jewellery on, no loose clothing, and you definitely wear eye protection. One of those little slivers of wire comes out of there into your eye and you've got major problems. Could be another gloss, personally I do Get a close of that, you've got to see all the, the silver solar has gone right round and it's actually gone right through there as well. Right, I hope you can see there's a nice ring of, ring of solar all the way around the joint, and there's actually solar come through the inside, so that'll be a that'll be a very strong joint. I guarantee it won't leak, but it'll be physically quite strong as well, certainly strong enough for what it's got to do. 
It's a it's a tapered thread on the fitting, quarter BSP. So all we do, a little bit of PTFE pipe tape, just a few wraps. And that screws into, into our tape our fitting or our PCL connector. We've got a nice new adjustable we bought last weekend as well, our goodies. That screws into there. And that'll form a nice airtight seal. Come out. I was wanting to use high pressure crimp type fittings for the, the airline, I haven't got any. I'll try and get some from work on Monday. I'll just use an ordinary words clip for the minute. I'll put a little bit of lubricant on there, or a bit of spit. A bit of oil just to help it, help it slide on. You've got to watch for the, the loose bits of wire, they're horrible. I'm working with Aeroquip years ago on racing cars and I had some really bad finger ends with that stuff. Right, just a hose clip on there for the minute, it'll do it till I get some high pressure ones. Once I get a high pressure hose clip on here, I'll probably, if I've got some big bore heat shrink, I'll put some heat shrink on. And it'll seal all the ends of these wires in, stop them poking into your fingers. Right, I'll measure the length and we'll do the other end. Thanks very much for that, uh, Dell. Here's Charlie. It's, it really is it's something I can use all the time. I'll put your note away with the other notes so I know, who, know where it come from. Uh, one thing that did surprise us yesterday when I was at the, the exhibition was the amount of people that come up to us and just said hello John and shook me hand and they recognised us from my YouTube videos and the amount of people that recognised us but didn't come and say hello anyway I'd like to thank you for very much for watching thanks for subscribing if you think on click the like button uh, what I'll do I'll do another video tomorrow and I'll show all the bits from the exhibition uh, some of the stalls some of the models I've got some still photographs and I was some traction engines running outside, I'll put them in and I'll try and get a bit more done on uh, the mechanics toolbox I got given. Shot me big fat fingers there. Eh?